Today I came out, my nephew owns a concrete fence company, Ron Emla, and we poured this garage for an owner who was also a contractor. And we had to go out and get the trawling machine, a couple little neat tips and tricks. So here we go. Hi, I'm Ron Emla. We, uh, <coughs> we have a business called Emla Concrete, and this is a foundation that we did for a good friend of mine last winter. And, uh, you know, it got a little cold in the year, so we couldn't finish it. But what was good about it is we got all the stone in and it sat through a thaw cycle. So we really don't have to worry about it settling too much and cracking over time. But uh, we got everything set up and, and, and basically we're just here to help today, you know, to get everything in. And we're going to be six inches deep. We have the plastic down for moisture. We got our expansion so that nothing grabs. And what we put in the middle here... <laughs> These are keyways, street keys. You see the way that they have, they're like a Z? Or what happens is, in Pennsylvania, where our thaw cycles, everything tends to move, and what these do is uh, they hold everything in place when everything moves. You know, it's kind of the same concept of wire. When, it, when People think that wire prevents concrete from cracking. That's not true. Wire just holds it together when it does crack, because one thing you could guarantee is concrete's gonna crack. So we try to do our best to uh, control it. Now, a lot of people don't like the looks of those, but, you know, you're not really looking for the look over time because it's going to fade and get dark uh, over f in five years anyway. So you kind of just want to control everything from moving. This is a new highfalutin tool where you turn the thing this way and it goes that way and this way and that way. truck came at uh, 8 o'clock. We were done by 8.35. The next one we were done at 9.30. So we got two pours. This one's getting hard already. And the whole idea is the whole idea is the harder it gets you just keep doing it. Now me personally I like to get on it early. I'd rather get on it too early than too late because I've seen a lot of guys lose it. This has fibers in it too, the owner put fibers in it. But we're gonna get, personally, unless we have two machines or something, I like to get as much done as I can by hand, and then the machine will take the rest of it. Where's that hole? There's a hole right there. See that hole over there? That's what they call a Fresno. That's one of those new highfalutin uh, gadgets they came out. During my time they sent the man to the moon and now they invented this stuff. So it gets more amazing as they go. Right Ron? That's right. Makes it a lot easier for us. Get all this stuff off. I don't know if that's and ready. You gotta keep them away from the sidewalk because it might be going down over there. Getting around the drain. I'm waiting for the motor. Cleaning this all up here. So we're running the machine. I'm gonna do this right here. See it? I'm running the power trowel, and you can see it's just hard enough to walk on. So we're going to start it up.
so wet yet. That's good. Take my shoes for concrete. Just like this. Oh. And then I put it on like that. Just the second side, this is still wet. See it? How wet it is? This side is hard. So, still got to get in here and clean it up. So we're doing it the second time. And when you're working a trowel machine, you pick it up, it goes to the left. You push it down, it goes to the right. So this is our second time through. And I'm walking here with my plastic to get it done. Right here, the old concrete stopped here, the first pour. And it was like a little transition. So sometimes, I'm going to throw a little water in there to get it flattened out better. So here's a suggestion. If you ever do concrete and the owner wants to try it out, well, always let him because then he'll be happy with the finish. So we finished it. We troweled it. Uh, sometimes you have to put some water on it. We started at 8 o'clock. Truck was here at 8.30 and it's 12.30 now. It's like 80 degrees out and we're done. I'm Ron Emla. I own Emla Concrete. I'm Mike's nephew, and um, you know we have a concrete division where we you know, do sidewalks, patios, some blacktop driveways. We incorporate stamped concrete. We also have a fencing division where we actually sell the fence material and do the installs, and we have uh, the equipment rental division as well. So if you're interested in any any of the above or need anything done, give us a call, and uh, we'll see what we can do for you.